are loading up the car to go pick up our piglet today and um, we're trading with Shannon. I've got 40 pounds of pasture chicken and we're going to trade it for one live piglet. Mike wanted to bring gloves. I never bring gloves. I just pick up the pig, but whatever. What's going on back there? Yeah. That child didn't comb her hair. It looks like a bird's nest exploded. <laughs> Frankie, why you gotta act like trailer trash? <laughs> I'm drinking and driving. That's bad. This might be water. Oh, <laughs> the ice. Yes. Which would you prefer, a Moscow mule or a mojito? This is a long red light, Lakeside. Hey, guy could literally watch a YouTube video right now on knitting or like crocheting. You could probably actually knit a sweater. And then go knit the entire sweater or blanket or whatever before this light changes. <laughs> like that's how long they take. We should count the blinks of your blinker. I no, you know what? I do that. One of my weird OCD things is, like, I can see the truck in the front. His blinker is slightly off from mine, and it really is irritating right now. That could cause you to have epilepsy seizure. Like it's, it's like blink, 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 blink. Like, the beat of it bothers me with... It's syncopated. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, the light turned green. Yeah. So let's count how many 7-11s. Okay, First there's, 7 there's a 7-Eleven. There's the Lakeside Rodeo Grounds. Where Been they there rodeo. A couple times. You've played music there too. I've played music there, yeah. Back when I played music. You've been on the radio there. I don't even remember how to play music. That's not true. There's 7 Eleven number two on our tour to 7 Eleven today. Yeah. And I've never been to Lake Jennings. You've never been to Lake Jennings? I've never been to any of the lakes up here. We actually used to live right up here. Right. Uh, we actually used to live like you could probably spit, and if the wind was at your back from Shannon's house where we're going to pick up the pig, right. it would that spit would have landed in our yard. Yep. Uh, so we lived really, really close to Lake Jennings for 10 years, and I'm now discovering that my wife has never been to Lake Jennings, which means probably my child has never been to Lake Jennings. Nope. Never. Which is oh, you interesting. Never take us I never take us anywhere. <laughs> Who's driving? I'm taking us somewhere to go get a pig right now. All the adventures we shall have. What is this numbnut doing? Why does he gotta be a numbnut? I don't know, he's a hockey puck. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> so here's Blossom Valley Road. So yes, we're kind so of in Blossom that, Valley. No, we're not. That's Blossom Valley. <laughs> That's Blossom Valley to the left. Yes. If you go right, you're in Lakeside. This. And if you go straight, you're in El Cajon. Yay! Right here at El this Cajon. intersection. But I don't think Blossom Valley is actually a town. It is. It is? It's a thing. It's a thing, but it's, it's a not thing. a town. No, it's like a thing. It's not incorporated. I don't think they have like a mayor. But they definitely don't have a mayor. <laughs> they don't have a mayor, but it, like, they're like a thing. It's like a thing. Oh, you know what they do have? 7-Eleven. A 7-Eleven. <laughs> they have 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven I think 7-Elevens are taking over the world. This used to be our exit when we lived out here for 10 years. And uh, then as soon as we moved away, like literally as soon as we moved away, they built a tractor supply store. Well, no, they built it like a year later. <laughs> okay, well, a year after we moved away, they built a tractor supply store. Yeah. Oh, we're going to come up on the bar that we used to work at. Right there. Yeah. With the big horse on the roof. Yeah. The ye old renegade. <laughs> ye old renegade. Yeah, back when I was a young man. <laughs> playing a lot of music. And I was a young waitress and bartender and dance instructor. Um, we spent... Right above the feed store, we spent every weekend. We spent many a night at the old Renegade. Yeah, we had my dad's memorial service there, actually. Yeah. A month or a month ago, four years ago yesterday. Nice pink umbrella, dude. Well, that's a the... woman. Oh, that's a woman. All right, that's cool. <laughs> 
then we got Wally World here. He's a good old boy, Wally. From Kentucky. And he got a nursery here. We're pulling into, pulling into Shannon's place here. Where the pigs come from. Where the pigs come from. So, and, and apparently where the golf carts come from. Next week. So is this mommy over here? Yep. That's Zoe. This is mama. So do you wanna you wanna tell us anything about Zoe? She's a Berkshire cross. Berkshire cross? She's about three and a half. She's had about four litters of four. Fantastic mama. What's the cross? Uh, she's crossed with a ham. And then the daddy, which I just got rid of. Look at her hand. <laughs> the daddy that I just got rid of was a Burke Red Wattle cross. Okay, so we got uh, Burke Hamp crossed with Burke Red Wattle. So we got about half Burke. Quarter hamp quarter and quarter red wattle. You like the one that's got the coloring of all three on it, the one with yeah, the spots? Yeah. This one right here? Yeah. So he's got, he's even. He's yeah. good in length, too. Right through the water. I do all the sausage. There's a lot of black and white ones. Hey, cowgirl. Hey. <laughs> Gotta find him again. What are those things called? Dixie, get your Dixie pants in there? What are they called? <laughs> Daisy dudes. So he just gave me a little kiss on the butt. That guy right there? Yeah, he's one of the bigger ones. He's got coloring from all of the crosses yeah. he's crossed with, the bird, the camp, and the red bottle. This part's always a little bit tricky. I'm not very good at catching them in big pens at all over here. And it goes right through the That looks so cute. Didn't even need the gloves. So baby wipes are for it. I don't use gloves, just baby wipes. So, while we're on camera, where'd you find him? Some rodeo in fucking Oklahoma or what? Right? You guys find each other. The bar in Santee. Yeah. Bar. I, I, I was playing music at the time. That's the only way I could get pretty girls. <laughs> I tell everybody, learn to play guitar, man. <laughs> so we have the pig in there. Being real mellow, just chilling like a villain. He's like, yeah, which is very unusual. He's laying down, scream and snort, and make a lot of noise and huff and puff back there when we're driving. But he's being super mellow, which is a good sign. I've had a couple that have been mellow for parts of the ride, but he's been mellow the entire time. So he's five weeks old. He has been castrated. Had his tusks removed, right? He said his tusks removed. Um, and uh, yeah, he's weaned and he's ready to be on his own. So we're gonna set him up in his little bachelor pad <laughs> and uh, he'll be good to go. And then in a few months, he will be bacon. Bacon! Well, we're 
almost home. Almost home. Sterling, you're almost at your new home. Big has a name now. Yep. Yay. Roger Sterling. We're going with a Mad Men theme this time. But you know what? Later today, there's going to be some espionage because I'm going to hike across that field, break into my neighbor's feed pen, and steal a bag of feed. Hello, Sterling. How you doing? Did you say he's wagging his tail? <laughs> like a dog? <laughs> he was. She can't really say that to him, can you? <laughs> no, <laughs> can't, that's Can't tell him wakey wakey eggs and bakey? No, you can't. <laughs> no. It's so rude. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff in here we gotta get out. All this hose, but we can do that while he's in here. Yes, good boy, Sterling. That almost landed in the sick. See if we, he can figure out where the water is. check everything out and um, it's fun to kind of watch them especially when we don't have another pig at the same time to just let them kind of independently explore and they'll kind of come back over to you and I think this is sort of like the beginning of the bonding process <laughs> if you will just kind of let them explore a little bit and then I'll usually when I get a new piglet especially if they're by themselves if I don't have another pig already uh, established in here I'll come and check on them several times during the day and into the evening um, just to make sure that they're doing okay and that, you know, they've got everything kind of figured out. So, 
But he's definitely uh, off exploring already, so, so far so good.